you have a panel of Irish men expressing their views on this subject. Uh, preparatory to the human trafficking bill, uh, I did meetings uh, all around the country on the issue. I did meetings in Sligo, Cork, Kilkenny, Dublin, and other places. <coughs> and I suppose um, the remarkable thing was, uh, well, I suppose, given that the meetings were organized by labor women or by organizations or group organizations like Kuhama, it probably wasn't surprising that the audience was almost exclusively women. Uh, but men did not tend to engage with the subject. And I have to admit that my concern uh, at those meetings was learning about human trafficking. And like a lot of other men, I hadn't talked very deeply about the question of prostitution. You said that the connection is obvious, but you know what we were dealing with was, was human trafficking. <coughs> and at that time, it was only a few years ago, uh, the research on it was very minimal. I remember operating in the on the basis of two uh, women academics in, in, in UIG and coalface information from Ruhama. But the belief was, uh, by the minister and by the department, that this had minimal impact on Ireland, although it was a significant international criminal uh, enterprise. We now know, uh, after a very short passage of a few years, that that isn't the case, and that the problem was far more endemic in Irish society than we thought. I, I wanted, uh, I, some of the women organizations concerned uh, brought over some people from Sweden whom I met. I didn't go to Sweden with, with a group that, if you go to Sweden, it's a research project. If I go to Sweden, it's a junket. <laughs> but I look forward to uh, the, the, the dignity of the report because uh, when we, uh, discussed this issue during the progress of the, of the Human Trafficking Act in the law. The then Minister for Justice felt there were insuperable obstacles to doing what is done being solved. Uh, and I have to say that the more I have thought about it uh, since and the more that uh, some of the organizations here have pressed us, uh, the more I believe that at the root of the evil is the Constitution itself. And in that sense, uh, the Act is imperfect, Chairman. Last sentence. The act is imperfect. It, it, it did set a framework. But, you know, things like the period of recovery and reflection and a number of other things are imperfect. But the setting up of the anti trafficking unit in the Department of Justice, we regarded as great progress. I, I'm not so sure from what I hear that it's working as well as it might. But I have to say, if we do get the opportunity to be in uh, government after this general election, that our party is committed to legislating uh, on the question.